guys, so this is something a little bit different that I haven't done, but a lot of people don't understand why I don't have a smartphone. And it's for a couple of reasons. Firstly, the cost. I don't need to be paying for internet when I'm out of my house. If I'm at home, I can use the internet. I don't have to use it when I'm out. I don't really have to be like a zombie and not paying attention. And frankly, I don't wanna just pay to scroll through Facebook incessantly. Honestly, I don't really care. I have my music on a shuffle. I, you know, can bring a book or something if I want. So yeah, Base so here's the phone that I have and I'll kind of explain to you what I paid for it and why for me it's kind of like completely fine. So the phone I have is this one. It is called the ZTE Z432. I purchased it at London Drugs and it was sold under the Chatter Wireless label, which I believe is owned by Rogers. The guy at London Drugs said that you couldn't use it for Rogers, but then I went to the Rogers store and the Rogers guy was like, yeah, it's the same. So I bought the phone for about $60 and then I went to the Rogers store and got a SIM card. The guy was really nice and gave it to me. I'm not really sure how much they cost, like $5 or something, you'd have to probably ask them. And then Rogers has a yearly plan that is $120 for the whole year. So that works at $10 a month. You get 50 minutes, you get unlimited evenings and weekends, local calling, and unlimited texting. And I think unlimited picture texting, but when I called to register my phone, I disabled any internet because I don't want to get charged extra even though it's not really a smartphone there is a browser but I wouldn't even use it because I frankly don't care um, the features are you have like an address book you have your messaging you have email which I don't use calendar camera settings my stuff music browser file manager profiles recent calls so this could technically be considered like a smartphone but honestly it doesn't really do those features and if it does it probably doesn't do them well because there's not a lot of storage on this phone. Um, if somebody sends you an emoji it shows up as a little like empty square so I have to remind people who text me like please like if you're gonna just send me like the normal like smiley face and stuff like that because I'm probably not gonna get it. Uh, you can take photos but they're really grainy and then again you'd have to find like something for the USB or the whatever this thing is it's the same as the charging board you'd have to find something that will fit into your computer to take the photos off and you know it does everything that I needed to do it would be cool maybe one day to try like a legitimate like touchscreen smartphone type dealy thing but again unless I win it or it's given to me I'm not going to go out of my way to be in a three-year contract with some company that I don't really care about or try to get like a credit card or something or give them my passport information and, and do that because like whatever. Um, I appreciate that Rogers has this deal. I did have to throw in a little bit of extra money just to have some minutes in case I need to make any calls, which is easy enough. You just go to almost any store and you just say, I need to get some Rogers minutes. I went to London Drugs and said, can I get like 20 minutes or $20 worth? And then they just print out a little voucher for you. And then it's really easy to put that on your phone. I think you call like star 611 or something. So yeah, apparently it's a knockoff of a Blackberry. But again, I wouldn't really know because I've never had a Blackberry. I guess it does look like one. The phones that I've had before are usually just like T9 texting and stuff like that. So I am definitely one of those people that has not gotten on that whole like, oh, I have a smartphone thing. Somebody on Twitter was like, oh, if you want to enter my contest, you need to turn on your notifications. And I'm like, mobile notifications? Because I can't really do that. So people just assume that you're, you know, part of one of those sheep that is just going to buy into what the new wireless offerings are. And again, I am not one of those people because I want to be practical and also cheap. So thanks for watching my video. If you want to know anything about this phone, 
feel free to ask me because there's really not a whole lot else to know. So thanks for watching my video and if you have anything else that you think I should review or talk about, leave it in the comments below. Thanks for watching.